Pakistan uh, can play a helpful role. And I mentioned that Pakistan has a role by virtue of the demographics of the area. But Pakistan should not aspire for any leadership role in so far as uh, the reconciliation process in Afghanistan is concerned. That has to be Afghan-led. As for U.S.-Pakistan relations, uh, this is not a relationship of uh, a strategic alliance as we have seen in the past there has always been a disconnect between Pakistan and U.S. on certain policy matters. When the common interests for cooperation were strong, that this disconnect remained uh, uh, dormant, but as soon as there was change of circumstances, this disconnect came into a sharper relief. Uh, the, for example, uh, last time it was uh, the Pakistan's nuclear program, not that the U.S. Not, did not know about Pakistan's nuclear program, but uh, uh, when the Soviets withdrew, then it came into a sharper focus and Pakistan was subject to uh, uh, sanctions. So, uh, uh, and today the, uh, the uh, disconnect is on the question of Afghan Taliban, how to treat them. Uh, Pakistan, uh, of course, uh, treated Al-Qaeda in a different way. We captured, killed, cooperated fully with uh, the U.S. on uh, uh, dismantling Al-Qaeda. We continue our efforts and these uh, uh, efforts are appreciated by the U.S. leadership itself. Uh, even, uh, I would say, in the case of Osama, uh, the leads came from those operatives, Al-Qaeda operatives, who were handed over by Pakistan to the United States. Uh, but P Pakistan did not treat Afghan Taliban in the same manner for a variety of uh, reasons, and this remains the disconnect uh, between, between the two sides. Uh, the main question in Afghanistan is a political question and it is the question of uh, reconciliation. How to advance and promote this, uh, this process? Uh, the uh, U.S. expectations that Pakistan should be able to deliver uh, the Afghan Taliban or other groups like Haqqani group are somewhat unrealistic. Pakistan can be uh, expected to put some pressure, but uh, 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 there are many other uh, uh, aspects or elements which are important in this uh, process. One is, of course, the question of uh, the clarity about the U.S. withdrawal from the area as uh, it uh, plays into the motivations and support for the Taliban activity inside Afghanistan. Uh, the other is, uh, of course, uh, uh, the, the, the uh, question of all these groups, uh, whether they will be on board or not. So we can only think about a process uh, uh, in which these Afghan Taliban are involved uh, with the process of uh, reconciliation. There was a very important decision in 2007 by a grand uh, jirga <coughs> to create uh, local mechanism and have a group of 50. So those local mechanisms have to be also uh, reactivated. But what is important is that uh, the U.S. should know and Pakistan should be able to say with, with clarity what are the parameters of uh, cooperation? Uh, and uh, uh, I see encouraging signs in this latest exchanges between Pakistan and United States, especially the visit of uh, the Secretary of State, in which she said that there were very frank and intensive uh, uh, consultations and discussions uh, between the two sides, and that the message given to the Pakistan side was clear. At the same time, I hope that uh, Pakistani responses and what Pakistan can do and cannot do was also made very clear to uh, the U.S. side 
the U.S. Secretary of State also said that there is a plan of action on which there is considerable agreement and that is also a very encouraging sign. So while this uh, relationship between Pakistan and U.S., I would not call it a relationship of uh, uh, strategic alliance, uh, but it is an extremely important relationship because important interests are at stake uh, for both United States and for Pakistan in the area. And uh, a normal positive relationship, constructive relationship between the two countries, which is based on realism and uh, 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 candidness, frankness, and uh, based on parameters which are clearly defined is uh, extremely important at this stage for peace and for uh, uh, promoting reconciliation, uh, that process uh, in, in Afghanistan. Uh, what Pakistan should be expected to do, not of course delivering the Taliban, that may be too much, but to help with the process of reconciliation and also to ensure that Pakistan's territory is not used uh, by anybody, including the Afghan Taliban, for operations inside. And for that, I think that if all else fails, Pakistan should be prepared to go even as far as to selectively mine the border, fence the border, uh, creating uh, uh, designated crossing points. Uh, uh, for, for easement rights, uh, for tribal movement. Uh, but these are matters of detail. And I think on these matters, uh, the uh, exchanges between the civilian and uh, military leadership on the side of Pakistan and the American civilian and military leadership are important. Now, when it comes to the reconciliation process, in my view, there are three important parties. One is the Afghan government led by President Karzai. The process has to be Afghan-led. Therefore, uh, President Karzai has to play a very important role. Second is United States because of its military presence in Afghanistan, its involvement there. Third is Pakistan, not because of any special claim for a role, but because of the demographics of the area and the fact of the presence of uh, many Taliban, Afghan Taliban, uh, and other groups inside Pakistan. What is uh, necessary to uh, uh, push this process is that uh, we should have a clear understanding of uh, what can be done and what is possible, uh, especially between United States, Afghanistan, Afghan government and the Pakistan uh, government. When I say Pakistan government, it includes both the civilian leadership and the military le leadership. That is why uh, the recent rounds of uh, exchanges uh, between Pakistan and, uh, and uh, United States uh, they have been important in my uh, view because they should clarify the parameters for cooperation, especially with regard to reconciliation.